फाइव स्टो मिड टर्म इलेक्शन वर हेल्ड इन केरला एज द हाउस नोज ऑन द फोर्थ मार्च नाइनटीन एटी फाइव बिकॉज वी डिड नॉट वॉन्ट दैट द प्रेजिडेंट्स रूल शुड कंटिन्यू फर्दर एंड दैट ए डेमोक्रेटिक सेटअप विथ ए स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर शुड बी देयर इन केरला सो दैट द पीपल ऑफ केरला themselves can again have their own legislature as the house knows according to the results announced no party secured an absolute majority by itself and no party was in a position to form a government out of 133 the party which had the majority votes was the left communists numbering 40 The next party having the greatest number was Congress with 36. The third was Kerala Congress with 23. Now, out of a total number of 133, the left communists had only 40 seats, out of whom 29 were at that time under detention. We therefore explored all avenues likely to lead. to the formation of a stable government the governor had been in touch with the various party leaders from march 8 to march 16 he held detailed consultations with the leaders of the communist party the indian national congress the kerala congress the ssp and the muslim league the governor did not seek the views of the right communist party of india as they had secured only 3 seats out of a total of 113 the position that emerged from these consultations briefly was that although it was possible for him to negotiate with the various groups and individual legislators and evolve the basis on which a non congress government could be formed the leaders of kerala congress and muslim league made it clear to the governor that they would not join or support any ministry that might be formed or sponsored by the communists the two major parties kerala congress and muslim league said they would neither support nor join the communist government therefore they could not work with the support of these two so far as the congress was concerned its attitude was that it would act as a constitutional opposition to whatever government might be formed supporting it only to the extent that its policy were in line with those of the congress but not otherwise therefore that ministry could not expect support from the congress party thus what happened was that except for the ssp which was not opposed to a ministry formed or sponsored by the communists the other parties were clear that they would neither lend their support to nor seek the support of the party in forming a government in these circumstances the governor found no possibility of the communist party commanding a working majority even if those of their members who were under detention were allowed to function then also except the ssp there was nobody else to support them the governor did not therefore call upon the leader of that party to form a government the governor also explored other possibilities the decision of the congress party was not to join with any other party otherwise kerala congress and congress combined might have had 59 plus some others if they could in view of the decision of the congress party not to join with any other party to form a government and the combined strength of the kerala congress muslim league etc 
Being only 37, the governor came to the conclusion that there was no possibility also of any other party being able to form a combination with other parties and being able to form a ministry. The attitude of the Congress was that once having gone to the electorate and the electorate having given a decision that they were not to elect them in a majority, they did not want to form a ministry with any other party but would rather like to act as a constitutional opposition. That was the stand taken. Therefore, there was no likelihood of any combination by any method whatsoever to have any party which could have a working majority. Accordingly, in his report dated March 8, 1985, the governor stated that it was not possible for a representative government to come into existence as a result of the elections to the state assembly and recommended to the president to issue a proclamation under Article 356 of the Constitution. After a careful consideration of all the facts, it was decided that the vice president discharging the functions of the president should be advised to revoke the proclamation dated September 10, 1984 and issue a fresh proclamation assuming to the president all functions of the government of Kerala and all powers vested in or exercisable by the governor of the state. Accordingly, the proclamation was issued on the 24th March 1985 and a copy of this proclamation was laid on the table of the house. Stop.